Hello everybody, welcome back to another uh, commentary video here on the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I don't I don't really talk about much, and that's uh, about being a Minecraft Bedrock YouTuber, specifically a Hive YouTuber in my case, um, and giving you lots of tips if you want to become a Hive YouTuber yourself. I've certainly seen quite a bit of growth recently, um, and I would say I can maybe share a couple things that I've picked up along the way while making videos. Um, and what I would recommend you do if you want to maybe eventually get Hive YouTube Ranch. So yeah, let's get into it. Now, first of all, before we begin, I do want to make this very clear that just because you do these things, it doesn't guarantee you're going to see amazing growth overnight. But I've found doing these things has helped me grow. It brings viewers in um, and keeps a bunch of viewers and then you've got viewers that are sticking around. So I find these things work. I can't guarantee they will work for you. So first up, I want to kind of talk about uh, watch time and click-through rate. Now these are uh, kind of interlock in terms of like analytics. First of all, please look at your analytics like a lot, uh, study them a bit, uh, and kind of play to them. For example, you've got an, al an analytic of the best time to upload a video. So try upload your videos at that time when most of your viewers are on YouTube, stuff like that. But in terms of click-through rate and watch time, Click through rate, it's CTR, uh, it means the amount of people from the impressions you're getting that are clicking on your videos. So for example, you might have a 5% click through rate, and that means, say you have 100,000 impressions, that means 5% of those people are clicking on your video. And that really depends on your thumbnail and your title. So tips for thumbnails and titles, it's kind of hard to do with thumbnails, but all I'd say is kind of keep a consistent style. I'm going to pop up some channels on the screen right now, Hive channels, that do this really well in keeping their thumbnail style consistent. This helps bring back uh, returning viewers. So once they've subscribed, they might have watched a couple of your videos. Then if, you, if they get one of your videos and they're recommended, they will know it's your video and they're more likely to click on it because they might enjoy your content. Uh, so keep it consistent. Try and include some bright colors that will kind of stand out on the recommended page uh, and make the thumbnail quite bold. Don't use any small text and in my opinion I would minimize the text on the thumbnail. Uh, like don't add too much and if you are doing it uh, make it quite big. Also just don't add too much stuff on the thumbnail. Try and keep it quite simple. The simpler but bolder the better. So don't add too many like images or because then it just seems like a mess. So quality is one of the things that people can really struggle with when making a video. And it's no secret, to be honest, you'll be the same, you'll be able to agree with this if you're just browsing YouTube. You're going to watch the videos that have better quality. So you're, if a video has maybe 360p quality max, and another video kind of doing the same thing has 1080p full HD, you're going to watch the 1080p one unless you write, really hate the creator or something. So, really, I know it can be hard, but try and uh, get the best equipment you can. Maybe consider upgrading here and there, but don't do it too much. It's not always worth it. Uh, and try and record at the best quality you can. And then once you have recorded, edit your videos. The better you are at using your software, the better your videos will be. So kind of learn your software a bit. Don't necessarily post the first thing you edit or anything. Learn the software. You can watch tutorials if you need to. Uh, and get a consistent editing style as well. Like the thumbnails, consistent editing will bring your viewers back. Audio quality is also really important. I know for the first couple of years I made bad mobile videos, I didn't have a microphone, and you could hear like shuffling in the background noises because I literally filmed it on my bed, on like my tablet with a mobile app recording it. And it wasn't really good, and a microphone, it was really my first upgrade in terms of YouTube, and it really helped with the sound quality, so I would highly recommend getting one of them. 
So I found um, when trying to bring viewers into my channel, one of the best ways to do it was live streaming. And I went for the angle of doing very interactive live streaming. Obviously doing stuff like Hive CS is very interactive so viewers can engage with the stream, they can play with you, they can interact and it's a great way to keep viewers coming because they get to play with you, it's a fun experience and it's kind of interactive instead of you just sitting there playing a game on your own which still does chat but it isn't as interactive and live streaming if you can get a good title on your live streams in terms of titles just try and get as many keywords in there as possible keywords like minecraft hive bedrock uh, and stuff like that playing with viewers that's a great one um and streaming if you can do it it can be hard to do um but if you can do it i would highly recommend it because it does really help bring in viewers so building a community um, is a really important aspect of ma making YouTube videos. You want to get to know the people who are watching your videos and build that community around those people. Maybe ask what your viewers want to see, what videos they want to see first, what they want to see next. and. One of my biggest recommendations is make a Discord server. I did this about a year ago now um, and it's really helped because even if you don't have something like the community tab which you get at 1000 subscribers on YouTube, which is a really good way to interact with viewers and get like polls going for your next video and stuff. Discord is an even better way to interact with them. Um, if you can get viewers to come and join your Discord, you can post your videos there, you can post updates, you can run polls, you can play games with them, you can chat to them, you can film videos with them. Discord is such a useful tool and Discord servers are so good and so clever and it's a brilliant way to interact with your viewers. So if you haven't already, I would highly, highly recommend making a Discord server and promote it. Promote your Discord server so that you can get some people in it and it's a good fun time for you and for the viewers. It's really no secret that knowing other bigger Hive YouTubers or other bigger YouTubers in your community helps you a lot in uh, getting viewers because they may shout you out, you may do a collab with them and that really helps get your viewers to your channel. However, even if you don't know a massive Hive YouTuber that maybe has YouTube rank or something, I would recommend kind of reaching out to Hive YouTubers that are maybe around your sub count, maybe a little more, don't go too big though, um, and maybe ask if they, if you'd want to do a collab with them or something like that. Collabing with people is one of the best ways to almost share viewers. You like show viewers a different uh, channel. It will be similar content to yours uh, and then their fan base, some of their fan base at least, will probably come over to your content and then that's all new viewers for you and both of you, in most cases, will get a really good video out of it. <laughs> Well, that's all the tips I have for today. I hope you found at least one or two of these tips useful if you are trying to be a Hive creator here on YouTube. It's a really fun thing to do, even if you don't have the biggest fan base in the world. Creating content is a really fun thing to do. I've been doing it for years now, and it, it's so much fun. So, uh, don't give up uh, just because your numbers are low. Keep going. And hopefully, eventually, you will uh, see some growth. But that's it from me for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like down below. And if you haven't already, of course, smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time, everybody. Goodbye.